my name's Richard Foster, Richard Foster Outdoors, and I'm here on the last kayak adventure of the season, November the 22nd. I'm here in the English Lake District at Holswater, one of the prettiest lakes in the Lake District. I'm here on a two day venture. Today I put in at Pooler Bridge, eastern end of Holswater, and paddle in until about sunset. Then staying overnight at Sea Toller in the Borrowdale Valley, the hotel called Glaramara. And then tomorrow, hopefully, be on Buttermere or Clement Water. So weather-wise, it's not too bad. It's uh, quite chilly, actually. It's only about four degrees, but uh, we're paddling that to keep warm. But it'll, no doubt, it'll go very cold when the sun goes down. So it's uh, 22 to two. It's another hour and a half or so to sunset. So I haven't been kayaking since July. If you saw the uh, Midges, Maps, Munros and Me video of Scotland, that was the last time I went kayaking and for one reason or another I haven't been. So this is the first time since July and it's now nearly December. Well, the sun's going down now, it's getting a bit chilly. I'm just coming up to Howtown now, which is nearly halfway along the lake. There's a steamship there, one of the Oldswater steamers. I'm surprised really they're operating now, it's winter, especially on a Monday. Maybe it's a weekend, but I want to operate on a Monday. Okay, so I'm heading back now, back to Pooley Bridge. The sun's going down, as you can see. It'll get very chilly once it's gone down behind those mountains. I need to keep paddling to keep warm because it's turning quite cold. And the sun hasn't even set yet. <laughs> By the time I get out of the water, it'll probably be dark. So looking back at that sky there with the wispy clouds, and the cold, cold conditions, I think the conditions are just right for a spectacular after sunset pink sky. After the sun's gone down behind the horizon, hopefully with a pink sky leaving the mountains silhouetted in front of them. So I'm going to find a beach somewhere at about half past four when it's nearly dark. It should be spectacular hopefully. Cold now. The last time I was here was June, just before that solar eclipse, partial solar eclipse. I was down here. Nearly back now. All of a sudden there's an awful lot of seagulls. So I'm just leaving the lake now to paddle down the river Oman. It'll be an easy paddle because it's with the current. It's quite a fast current actually down there. Day two of the last trip of the 2021 kayaking season. I've spent the night at Glaumara Hotel at Sea Toller and just coming over Honister Pass, the infamous Honister Pass, featured on Tour of Britain.
this is Buttermere. I've arrived here on the eastern side of the lake at one of the few parking spaces right at the lakeside, so I'm fortunate. If you come in summer, you have no chance but in winter you can park here and launch a boat down here. So it's a glorious day, better than I expected. It's quite mild today, warmer than yesterday on Ullswater. Well, I've always wanted to kayak Buttermere. I've done come at water before, but I've never been on Buttermere because it's not easy, like I said, it's not easy to park by the lakeside. There's no proper car park by the lakeside itself, which means a long portage from the normal car park. But like I say, I managed to get this little lay by at the side of the lake here, so I managed to get on. And that's Fleetwith Pike behind me, that high hill there, that fell. Uh, stunning views from up there. You can get some beautiful sunset pictures from up there in the summer when the sun's setting at the northwestern end of the lake. So nice to get a different view from the water, a different perspective. I've walked around here, I've walked around Buttermere before. But you don't see it the same as from the water, you see a different perspective. Serenity, the calmness, and the winter trips. It's almost magical, spellbinding. So that's the Buttermere Horseshoe. Fleet with Pike there on the left hand side, moving round to Haystacks on the right. Haystacks of course being a well known Wainwright favourite. Well that's it for the 2021 paddling season, I really enjoyed it, I hope you did, thank you for watching. I'm going to leave now with, uh, if you recall, Pooley Bridge last night, the sunset, take a look at this.